this case is more expensive than that sports car outside. <laughs> that, that's it mad. makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely insane. Hey, I'm stand-up comedian, presenter, and general extraordinaire, Joel Domit. I'm here at Presented By to uh, check out some uh, sneakers. Do you call them sneakers? Tra trainers, maybe creps? I'm here to check out some things that go on your feet. Let's check them out. Guys, it's Lini AKL Sneaks, and we are, of course, chilling at the Presented By Shop. And alongside me, I have UK's favourite comedian and actor, Joel Domit, is in the building. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you very much for having me. I'm really your, happy that you're your here. The Crep Palace. Yes. What do you think of the store? I think it's absolutely wonderful. I love what you've done with the place. Yeah. It's it's absolutely great. That's what we love like the to wood hear. decor. I like. I love. I just love things that are vacuum packed. So that's, it's cool, right? That's, it's fascinating. It's just wonderful, you know, there's <laughs> nothing, nothing better. Well, listen, guys, we're going to have a cheeky chat with Joel today, talk about his shoe game, his fashion game, and any upcoming projects. Are you cool with that? I'm absolutely cool with that. So let's do it. Joel is in the building. <laughs> All right, Joel, so you are originally from Rockhampton. Oh yeah, someone's been on Wikipedia. Hey, I do my research. It's Got to. It's my job. <laughs> um, what is the fashion vibe and shoe game like over there in comparison to London? Well, Rockhampton is a sleepy sort of village on the outskirts of Bristol. It's a very yeah. farming village. So the shoe game in Rockhampton is mainly welly based. Wow. It's Seriously. It's mainly welly based. Yeah. Wowza. Yeah, it's not. It's not a great. It's not a great prep village. Aye. So when it comes to shopping, it's payday. There's, is there a go-to store you would go to? Uh, well, I grew up in Bristol and it wasn't really till I moved to London that I started getting into to shoes. I just, um, I just, I can't really remember the first time I properly got into it. I remember, I think I sort of got in on Jordans. I started buying, I think it was one of the, some of these, like some threes, nice. were like my first ones and um, I uh, was like maybe the the red ones with the cement mm -hmm. and, um, and I loved them and then I loved like the fours became my favourites and I nice. still wear them, the, I think the only Jordans I still wear really are the four cement. Um, the sort of grey cement ones I like, really love. They've re-released them a few times. They have indeed. So would you about. say the fours is your favourite silhouette out of all the Jordans? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, I just think I can almost pull them off. Okay, got And that's, you. you know, there's a lot of the other ones just look so massive on my feet. Some do. And some I just, do. I, you know, it's they're very clumpy. But you're a size 7, so it should be okay. I'm very, very small feet. Very lucky. Very tiny, almost like hoof-like, really. <laughs> uh, I'd believe it. It's hard to stay stood up on a windy day. I'm all over the place. Got you. Got you. So talk to us about, you mentioned Jordan being one of your first uh, sneakers, uh, trainers. Mm. What do you go by when it comes to shoes? What's your term? Na uh, oh, what, what do I call shoes? Yeah. This is a very contentious uh, sort of issue, really, <laughs> because I'm not the coolest person in the world. And so I feel like it, when I say crap, people laugh at me. I when say I, crep. Yeah, well, it's like, yeah, but you're a cool person, you know? <laughs> you can say it and everyone's like, she knows what she's talking about. When I say it, people are like, oh, maybe he's off to get sort of a French pancake. <laughs> okay, that is interesting. We'll go with crep, though. We'll go with crep. You'll okay. be cool today because you're with me. Yes. Yeah? Cool, wicked. Cool by proxy. <laughs> okay, so what would you say is your top go-to shoe? Because you do wear a lot of Vans, you wear Converse's. Yeah. Is comfort very important to you? Totally. It's yeah. like, I've realized you can buy really expensive shoes, prep, um, yeah. but they're not comfy. You just don't pick them up. Mm. And it's the same with clothing. It's the same with, you can have like the nicest t-shirt in the world that you yeah. really have spent loads of money on. But if you feel like you're a bit like, Ugh, in it, you just always pick up that one from, you know, from Primark. It's mm. like, 
You know, it's like yeah. it's the it's the difference. And um, so yeah, really, comfort is very important to me, and that's why I love sneakers in the first place. Is because you know by by de by design, they're all mm. comfy. Yeah. You know, that's why I like them, and I don't wear brogues all the time. It's right. Because I like. Because I'm always late and I'm always running places. <laughs> like, so you're not a punctual person. You were early today. I was. I was early. On time today. Yes. Got it. It's because I ran here in, <laughs> in my wave runners. <laughs> yes. You know? All right, Joel. Mm. I am going to put you on the spot here, real quick. If you had to pick one, Nike or Adidas. Oh. Mhm. Mm Oh. I had to do it. I'd say um, uh, Nike, I'd say, actually. Nike. I'd say Nike, but um, I think Yeezy is the uh, the sort of anomaly of that. I think he's the, he's what just drifts me across to Adidas every now and again, yeah. I really like. But the, um, yeah, Nike, I think I definitely buy more Nikes. Would you say it's due to, obviously growing up, I think Nike was more the go-to before because yeah. as you said, Yeezy has made an impact on Adidas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, would you say it's due to growing up Nike being the go-to shoe? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. You know, we all grew up trying to write a Nike tick in yeah. our school books. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that was all we all tried to do, just do the Nike Some ticks. Some people had the haircuts with the Nike ticks. Exactly. In so, yeah. Exactly. I, you know, had a, had a slice in my eyebrow with a Nike tick in the side of my head. <laughs> I was the least cool person you've ever met in your entire life. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Yeah, so I'd say Nike, in terms of like, I used to buy the Jordan stuff. I, I, I went through a real Nike Air Max phase and um, had loads of those. Yeah. I think everyone went through that phase. Of course. I think um, I follow the, I'm, I am, whereas Kanye West is ahead of the curve, I am very much at the back of that curve. <laughs> You know, He'll it's get there. like He'll get there. I had a beard <laughs> when everyone else was cutting off their beard. Right, right, That's right. That's the thing, you know. I uh, I got Jordans when everyone was selling their Jordans. Good to it's, know. I'm I'm one of the idiots that spends more money <laughs> because <laughs> I have no idea what's fashionable. Oh well, we'll let, we'll teach you some ropes in here. Yes. No worries. <laughs> Off camera, we're having a little chat about the whole reselling and how you think it's really fascinating. What do you think of this piece right here? Well, Supreme is an interesting thing, isn't it? I yeah. mean, you know, you could honestly take a shit in some tinfoil, wrap it up, put Supreme on it and sell it for £4,000. <laughs> like, that's the most amazing <laughs> thing I mean, about... Look, Supreme's been in the game for, for many, many years. Yeah. And then just last year, they did a collab with Louis Vuitton and it became, blew up. Like, it huge. was huge. Because I'm a skateboarder, like, I grew up skateboarding, okay. so I... You know, Palace and Supreme, and I know all that. Yeah. You know, I, I know them from years ago. Yeah. And it's so mad that it's now huge. such a huge part of the landscape of fashion. Yeah. Like, it's massive. It's huge, it's huge. This piece right here, the skateboard and the trunk. Oh my God, dread to think. A very limited piece, very rare to come across. Do you want to have a little guess? Oh my God. How much Lord. this is reselling for right now? Oh my God. I. Let's go. Okay, I reckon the. I'm gonna go 30 grand. Higher. Oh! <laughs> 50? Higher. 100 grand. Lower. 70 grand. Higher. 80 grand. Higher. 90. There you go. 90,000 pounds. 90,000 pounds. Woo! It's crazy, oh, right? That is incredible. Like, isn't it mental to think that this, this case is more expensive than that sports car outside? <laughs> So that's it mad. makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely insane. What's next for you? Got some really exciting stuff. The new the new series of John Lish vs. the World comes out yeah. in um, uh, September, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, I got my comedy special coming out and that's going to come out at some point and that's great and then I go back out and do the extra show of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out here yeah. in November so I do that every year so basically pretty chocker until the end of the year really and then um, I'm writing a new show so that will go on tour again next year I've just come off like a 150 day tour and wow. so it's just um, writing a new one and go and do that again and wow. keep going and then hopefully the next tour I'll be in sweet sweet trainers Oh. 
Of course, that's what we like to hear. Well, look, I know you're a busy guy, so I want to thank you for coming down it's to the store. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's such it an amazing place. It really is. Thank you. We appreciate it. And we're going to have a little fun, and we're going to get into some shopping. Yeah.